you're probably wondering why I've got a, a silly grin on my face. Well, we got something special today, and uh, here it is. Ding, ding, ding. It's an iPad. So uh, we just got it uh, from a friend, uh, Gerard Lim, and uh, he got it from the US, and here we have it. So this is the mythical iPad, which uh, I think nobody else has got. Uh, not many people have got it in Malaysia, I think, and it's not available yet. Uh, not officially, at least. Yeah, not mm. officially. Yeah. yeah. So we've been, we had only a few minutes to play with it, really, and uh, so far we're quite impressed, really. And you won't believe the number of people that have come, have come around here. They were all uh, crowding around looking at this thing. And I have to say that in, even though the specs, and uh, even on paper, it doesn't sound that great, but the real thing actually is quite impressive. It's a bit heavy, right? I would say actually it's quite, uh, yeah. if you hold it up, if you hold it up by itself, hmm. it's not much than your regular magazine, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure it is. A bit more, I think. A little bit more, I mean, because after all, the back here is metal, hmm. but otherwise the front of it, you know, looks like your regular iPad, uh, your, I, your hmm. iPod or hmm. iPod Touch or iPhone. A larger, like a giant iPod, yeah, you which reminds up. me, yeah. Yeah, so you So this is my, up. this is my iPhone, and uh, as you can see, it's about that size. Okay, one of the um, uh, interesting things about the iPad is that it comes with a little um, a folder thing which you can buy as, a, as an accessory, although it's not free. It doesn't come with the I iPad. But uh, once you put it in, you can actually uh, fold it in sideways. And uh, it'll actually prop up the, the iPad in a, a little bit more, I think about 45 degrees, so you can type uh, easier. And uh, one of the things we're going to try is to actually uh, type with it. A, a new uh, notepad here. You can see the notepad is a little bit different from the one on the iPhone. It actually has a two panel thing when you when you when have it in landscape mode. So I'm going to try typing now. It's actually not too bad. Uh, even though you don't feel the keys, the spacing and everything is actually good enough to type. There you go. Since this, uh, the iPad essentially runs the iPhone OS, it actually can run every iPhone app out there, except that uh, it, you'll have to get it in a small screen, like this. Hold on a moment. If you, you can also have it uh, double-sized, of course, with very, th uh, very th uh, jaggy text. Or uh, there are some social networking apps like the TweetDeck, which have been already um, made for the HD screen of the iPad. and. Uh, you, as you can see, it, it looks a lot better. You can have uh, several columns. So you can have your favorite columns in this way. And as you can see, there's a lot of... Yeah, one of the really cool uh, applications for it is a, it's a comic reader, and this is a Marvel one. And as you can see, it's almost exactly the same size as a real uh, comic. And inside here, we have a number of comics. So here, th these are free ones that they've provided. And look at that. And that's pretty amazing, isn't it? So yeah. let's see. We go through here. If you actually tap on a on a on a panel, it will actually dynamically zoom to the next uh, panel, and it will go to the next panel, and the next, and the next. The resolution is really good, so you can actually read it quite clearly, and it supports that kind of a zooming as well. So let you see. You you'll be surprised. It's actually quite readable. So one of the primary functions of the iPad is as an e-book reader. So you have an iBook function here, and you've got a row of uh, books you can select from. Right now it comes with a book beneath the pool. And over here, you can see that it's like any regular book. It's got uh, pictures, it's got words and such. But interestingly, if you want to turn a page, you can pick a corner of the book and it will realistically turn. And also you can just simply flip the book like normal. And One of the interesting things is uh, this uh, Scrabble application which turns your, your iPhone into a towel holder and the iPad as the main uh, board. So what you can do is you can move the towels up here and uh, move them up onto the board in this way. Not that one. So I'm going to make a word from here. Literally make a word. Okay, one of the interesting uh, apps that came uh, with the iPad, I think you can download it, 
is uh, the New York Times Editor's Choice, which is customized uh, specially for the iPad. And uh, it really looks uh, good, as you can see, you can scroll left and right. It comes with the ads at the bottom as well. You can just tap the story to get uh, more. And uh, you see, you can go to the next page. Uh, and that's it. And you can go back. There you go. It uh, supports a landscape format, which also looks different slightly from uh, the. It actually, it is quite nice for reading, actually. So, 